The Batman. The Batmobile. Who doesn't love to drive a Batmobile? Well, let's be honest. We've all tried getting the Vigilante on GTA. My, myself being one of them. I do have the car. It's very good. Well, I wouldn't say a very good car. See, it's, it can take a missile, but still a good car. Mix of the tumbler, I'd say, with the back end. And then you got the front from Keaton's Batmobile. But... Yeah, right. That's not the Batmobile we're here about today. We're here about the brand new Robert Pattinson Batmobile from the new The Batman. And it's surprisingly cheap. Only at 875000 on Legendary Motorsport. And yeah, it doesn't look exactly like... The car, because obviously, well, GTA has lookalikes, not exact replicas, but it's pretty much the same. Also, you've got the uh, the shape. It's mainly the shape, really, the shape of the car, with like trying to give off like the the bat years, I guess, on the end, and then obviously the main key components is the, is the exposed engine. Uh, the big exhaust of the bat, well, not big, but it's a reasonably sized exhaust, obviously, because the Batmobile has a huge exhaust. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how to make the car. But first, I'll show you what the car is and what it's called. So, you want to go to Lendry Motorsport, obviously, because it's a sports car. Best, play, best way to do it is just make it cheapest to uh, most expensive. And like I said earlier, the car is 875,000. Right, there we go. And it is called the Viserys. I've already said that wrong. Again, I cannot speak English to save my life. But obviously, th this is the car if you want to get it. It's actually quite a fast car. It is reasonably fast. It is quite durable once you upgrade all the armor and stuff and that. So. And it's a muscle car, so, yeah. Right. If you do buy it, obviously, the, op the most obvious option is black if you're making the Batmobile. But I'd say just wait, because you're going to make it matte black anyway. Right. If we get into customization options, I'll show you what you need to do to make this. So armor, obviously, it's up to you how much you max out the armor. But it's a Batmobile, so it makes sense to max it out. Same with the brakes. I've put the brakes up to max. Right. For bumpers, you want the bolted extension, which is the second to last one. As none of the other ones fit the uh, criteria. For rear bumpers, you want removed. You don't want any bumper. You just want it removed. For the chass chassis, whether you want the interior window... Uh, the engine, I'll see at max, because it needs to be fast as hell. Engine cover, you want the last one, you want the engine to be exposed. As all these other ones, the engine's not shown. Otherwise, it is not to give the Batmobile look. The exhaust, you want the MK1 diffusers, which is the second to last one. Because that one's too much. Uh, the fenders, you want the wide body kit because of all the bolts and stuff, and it gives that good, like, angled shape of the ears. The hood, you want the secondary detail hood, or if you don't like that, and then you can just go for the plain black, but I stuck with the uh, secondary de detail. Uh, the horn doesn't matter. The lights, if you don't have access to the coloured lights, just... I'd say leave them as the stock lights, but I've put the headlights as yellow, so if you have, well, I think everyone does actually, I think you can all go into the LS car meet and customise your car there, and you can get all the coloured headlights, so if you go LS car meet, you can get coloured headlights and make them yellow or a goldish. Uh, Colour, obviously, you want to have matte black for primary, matte black for secondary, and the trim colour, an obvious black. And if you want to add your crew emblem to the Batmobile, you can. 
Skirts, you want the bolted extensions again because of obviously the look of it being made to withstand all the stuff. It's what is unique about this car. The spoiler, you don't you don't need a spoiler because well you didn't see that charging at you in the movie or any of those to be fair at all. But if you I guess if you wanted a spoiler you can add one, but uh, you don't you don't need one. Suspension, I haven't changed because you don't need to. But again, if you want to change it to how you want it, then go ahead. Transmission at race, obviously, because you need the speed. Uh, I put turbo on as well, again, for that bit of extra speed. You don't have to, but I did. For wheels, I think I did muscle. Or is it an off road? Yeah, off road. And it's the mill spec Steli, or number 11 out of 26, that you want for the wheels. It's the closest ones that I could find from in reference images, to be fair, for the car that looked similar. Because I think from when I looked, the front wheels are, are different to the back wheels. He has two sets of wheels, and also you can only have one pair of wheels or four in GTA. So I went with these ones. And obviously, once you've then got those, you want to have... It in black, I went for black steel just as a like bit more of a brighter tint because the wheels aren't as dark as the car, but they're still dark. But I think maybe, um, and and well, do we actually, no, just stick with black steel, it looks better. And then obviously, the tires, yeah, you don't, you don't need those tire enhancements, or you need bulletproof tires because it's the Batmobile, it's meant to withstand stuff. Tire smoke, I haven't bothered, but I'm actually going to now, if I were you. only makes sense to have the red tire smoke, obviously because of the cut the Batman's colour themes. The windows, you want it at limo, obviously because Batmobile, it needs to be intimidating. Uh, other than that, I think that's everything. And that is how you make the Batmobile from the new The Batman. If you want any more, uh, like, say, movie car tutorial, tutorials on how to make movie cars, or if there's any other movie cars from, any, just any sort of movie car or TV show car and that you guys want me to make, just leave it in the comments below and I will make a tutorial on it. But look out soon for the reviews on all the new remastered cars for GTA, which will be coming out over the weekend around some other stuff but yeah what i'm gonna say is thanks for watching and if we can please hit 50 subs we are i mean i mean we're literally so close now we are literally three subs away if we could hit that probably by the end of the weekend it would really mean a lot so what i'm gonna say is thanks for watching and enjoy your new batmobile